In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how the levels concept can really help you improve your passing game and what we can learn from Peyton Manning's favorite passing play. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be breaking down a concept for you. Now, concepts are more important because uh, concepts, there's not very many concepts. Um, but there's a ton of formations in the game, and so if you can grasp the principles, the concepts, it's going to significantly help you in the passing game. But before we do that, what I want to encourage you to do, if you've never been to my channel, my channel is focused on helping you get better at Madden NFL. And so if you want to do me a favor, and this is your first time watching and we're able to help you in some way, I'd like you to join our Discord link. Now, the link is in the description of the video, but if you could do me a favor, if you feel comfortable with it, my number is in the description. Just shoot me a text with your name, and I would love to um, chat with you more about Madden and also send you that Discord link. And what, once we get 100 members into our Discord server, what we're going to do is we're going to release a free offensive and defensive full guide um, in depth, probably over four to five hours of content for you in that guide. But it's going to tell you everything that I know about offense and everything I know about defense in one space. So you don't want to miss that. Be sure to join the Discord. The link's in the description. But again, if you'd like, if you have any issue with the link, you can text me. And you can text me anytime you want. And I'd encourage you guys, if you're watching this video, just shoot me a text. Let me know your name. Just let me know that you watched the video. That'd be awesome. I'd love to engage with you there. All right, so levels concepts. So if we go over here to, um, if we go over here to medium pass concepts, this is levels, and this is what it talks about. Similar to the drive, the inside receiver runs a dig, and the underneath receiver runs a short in route. That's what levels is. Now, you can do levels from a variety of different formations, as you can see here. We're doing levels from three by one, two by two, um, meaning we're doing it from two wide receiver. Two wide receiver package. We're also doing it from three. As you can see, the gun wide trips, you have a three by one set and level switch. But levels is one of those plays that to me doesn't get enough talked, doesn't get talked about enough. And really, it can come from any formation. The primary thing that you need to run levels is you need a deep in route from the slot receiver. So you could do it from the guns. I'm in the gun spread playbook. You can do it from almost any single playbook in the game. There's a couple of specific, again, there's specific routes that you want to look for. The biggest thing that you want to look for is a deep in route from the slot receiver. So I'm just going to go through my package here, go through my formations, and I'm going to look for a deep in route from the slot. And I, I, ideally, you want it to go... 10 to 15 yards. The spacing is really important. Um, and you'll find in passing concepts, the more that I learn about passing, the more I talk about passing, the more I really believe that if you want to be effective as a passer, you have to understand the importance of spacing in this game. It is so, so, so important. Let me see if they have like a shotgun normal or shotgun flex here. There's got to be something. Here you see this PA seam digs looks like something we could use. Um, the dagger or the flood play looks like something we might be able to use. Again, the deeper the in route, the better it's going to work. So um, we could even do that X dagger, but we, we don't want to run it from that wide, that wide side. But again, this is a concept. You can run it from anything. I'm going to show you how to do it from your hot routes. You can you can set this up, but there's a very basic way to do it. I'm just trying to help you and help you find the best way to run it. And the best way that I've found to run this is to have a very deep in route. The deeper the in route, the better. I don't like post routes because they kind of run into things. Um, they run into things honestly, and it's just not a good look. And like I said, we're just going to run through here. Flanker drive is a really, it, that is, drive and levels are very similar. Very, very similar um, to the way that they work. And we'll just see. I don't know if we'll be able to find it, to be honest with you. Um, anything better than the Shark HB will, but we'll just keep looking through here. And what's cool is you can run it from any set. I mean, it doesn't have to, you know, you can run it from ace offset. You can run it from, I think it works best from a doubles shotgun doubles in my opinion it works best from something like this if we can get the tight end on it like a shallow cross eight shallow cross um would be a really good really good way to run this because you don't want to get the reroute oftentimes what you'll get is you'll get a reroute but we'll just show you let me see if i can find a five wide actually we might have might have a better in route from there but if we can't find yeah so right here so level switch and we'll just use this in route from level switch 
And let me just make sure I put in my audibles um, the uh, verticals play, and then um, we can talk a little bit about H shallow cross because you can run it backside as well. Uh, and we'll talk a little bit about why that's important, but let's jump into this. And this concept, levels, is designed to beat every coverage, right? But what we're going to do for, the, for a second here is we're going to talk about cover two, and we're just going to do random cover two defenses because this is what it's really designed to beat. Now, level switch, here's the deal. So you have a deep dig route to Jimmy Graham. You have a deep dig route to Jimmy Graham. And then you see you have this route here to Lazard. That is a, D, a, a little skinny in route. Now, this route to Allison, I personally would like to see this be a corner route. I can't put that on my field. And so what I'm going to do um, is, honestly, I'm just going to block him. Let's see if I can bring him this way. Can I, can I, will he sit down at the tight end position? I would just bring him this way. Because really, it's that two it's that two man route combination that you're wanting to get. If I go max protect, he might block. Let me see here. Nope. So I'm going to motion snap Allison to basically block him. But essentially, this is the read, right? And what I what you want to do is you want to run some type of curl flat concept on the back side of it. So you've got levels coming from one right to left, and then on the other side you've got this curl flat combination with the comeback and with the flat route. And at the snap of the ball, the yellow zones are probably going to fade back. As you see right there, they're going to fade back very simply. And what you could do even, I mean, from a five-wide perspective, what you could do if you wanted to is you could take this guy right here, Allison, and you could just put him on a little flat route, and you'll see against Tampa 2 it's going to hold that cloud flat. It's going to hold him out there, and it's going to create a nice pocket to throw that ball. Now, one of the things that you want to be careful of is you want this route to Lazard. You really want it to come open. And because of the way they've structured it, you really want it to come open at a definitive point. Now, again, you could take Allison. You could do anything with him. The the You just got to get him out of the way. To be quite honest, you just have to get him out of the way. So that's why, to me, motioning him over and putting him on a simple curl flat read, that's kind of the traditional way to run this. But at the snap of the ball, what you'll see happen is you get the reroutes. And that's the only, um, to me, that's the only issue with, with this. And you won't get this if they base a line. But from cover two this year, and it's, it's way more effective this year than it's ever been. But you see, you get these reroutes. You see the vert hook reroutes the in route. And you see the cloud flat reroutes the in route. And it basically takes it away. I mean, like, the, the timing is so off, so backwards. And I think you saw here, if you come back through, you'll see this risk, this route gets rerouted as well. So you've got all of these reroutes going on, which is fine. What I would recommend you do to, to make this concept usable, right, usable, to deal with a reroute or to deal with a press animation that you're going to probably get, all you have to do is motion. All you have to do to get away from it is motion. So if I took, if I took my tight end here, Allison... I could put him on a simple hitch route. I could put him on a, a flat. It doesn't matter. A, a corner, a deep out, it does not matter. I would, in theory, I would like to see him running some type of fade or some type of something up the seam just to help with the stretch a little bit. But if I motion Lazard in, you'll see here he's not going to get rerouted, and then he's going to be a good wide open read against the cover two every single time. Now, what's going to happen for the defense is the defense is going to be put in a situation where, um, and the way this, this play is actually designed, you see that in route, that R1 in route is kind of designed to deal with that. And what you want, if you run it the traditional way, like I said, two by two by one or, or two by two sets to me are the best, like if spread, if you could get it from spread, you could take Lazard and just put him on a simple drag. And you'll notice that it's going to completely change everything um, for how how it works. Now let me show you this out of two by two. But that deep in route is kind of one of the key things that you want to look for. But you could again, you can do this out of anything. Let me see if I got something from Flip Trips actually. I might have something here. So we'll just go into spread and we'll just use the play shallow cross. It's really not a big deal. Um, it's whatever you want to do. And we'll just go against random defenses. So now what's going to happen is what I like to do is you want to get that in route as deep as you can. So I put Allison on the line of scrimmage. 
I'm going to take my backside guy and put him on a, cro a, a drag. Then Jimmy Graham's route, I'm going to put him on a streak so that he's attacking the seam against cover two, right? And then Lazard, if they're pressed up, I'll leave him on the fade. And if they're backed off, I'll put him on an out route. And this is essentially levels divide. What's going to happen is on the backside, you're running these crossers. You see I can in inside throw. I get a terrible animation there from that streak. But you can inside throw the streak. But really what we're trying to illustrate for you is this backside levels concept is going to work like a charm. They're going to go with him, and then you're going to be able to dump it down every single time. Every single time they're going to go with him this year. Um, literally, it's like clockwork. I've not seen a defense yet that stops that crosser because what's going to happen is they're going to reroute, reroute, Allison. So here you see their backed off coverage. So I'm going to put a little five and out or a little 10 yard out route. There's the reroute and you're able to hit that right in that pocket. And that's basically levels in a nutshell. You're stretching the defense vertically. And what I like about it so much is it's so simple that you can pair it with a really good curl flat combination on the backside. And if you have a good streak to your tight end, then what you can do is you can hit that streak against some any anything where they're undisciplined if they're in a, a cover three you're going to be able to work your four vertical your two vertical side concept to this as well so that's a little bit about it now what you want to do with this is you want to have concepts that work off of this this is a basic levels concept that's going to beat any kind of coverage the defense runs at you but what the what what can what they're going to do what the defense is going to start doing is they're going to start manually adjusting their defense. They may go to cover four palms, they may go to you know whatever defense. You see, there's the reroute, and then I'm able to hit it every single time. And with the running back, one of the things that I like to do, um, I've become a fan with, just because of how popular the blitzing defenses are, is I'll block and release him. But if they're not blitzing me, I'll put him on a simple wheel route. And you'll see it's going to open up throwing lanes. That's one thing that people don't talk about in Madden. They talk a lot about pass protection. They talk a lot about blocking. One of the things that you can use your running back to do, especially on like a running back wheel route, is he's going to open up throwing lanes for you to be able to throw the ball up the middle of the field however you want to do it. So one way I do that, one way that I like to do that is a simple block and release pattern. And then what I'll do is I'll set up a simple protection where I think if they're going to hit me here, you know, and that's kind of more on the lines of pass protection. But if there's nothing for them to hit me with with the back, I'm going to send the back out. And now you're going to see I'm going to have a lot more throwing lanes to be able to hit that. And you see I'm just hitting that over and over and over again. What the defense is going to start doing is they're going to start usering, user defending, they're going to start user defending the drag or the little underneath in route, whatever you want to call it, right? If they do that, then you do this, right? So if they go underneath, then you can work your backside outside combinations over there on the right side. And then what's going to start happening is because you're from a spread for formation, right? You're from a, a spread formation. Then what you can do is depending on the look, you can then flip it and then run it to the other side with that simple motion on that side same exact thing right and what i would what i would tell you to do is you want to run levels to the short side of the field but you can run it to both sides it doesn't matter what i mean by that is you want to run your curl flat combinations this 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 y route here to lazard this this deep deep route you want to run that to the wide side of the field so um for example if we wanted to flip the deep the flip the play then we, if we were on this side of the field, that would make a lot more sense to flip the play because that Y route or that, that fly route on the outside, that little outside releasing fade, which is such a precious route this year, and you can only get them from certain formations, now you've got a pretty decent setup. And again, you just flip the formation, right? doesn't seem like you've done much, but in theory, you've done a lot. And you see you get that nice diving catch animation if you inside pass lead. So that's the levels concept in a nutshell from 2x2. Two two. Um, and we can talk about it from 3x1 in my next video. But what I wanted you to see is that you can create this from anything. So let me just show you this play Y stick, right? And we'll, for the video, we'll just, we'll just, we'll just, can I, I don't know if I can flip it or not. But I want to run levels. Now, I just have to decide where I want to run levels to, right? 
Do I want to run it to the left or do I want it to run it to the right? Well, in this scenario, I want to run it to the right. So what I can simply do, I'll just call the play four verticals. It's cool that you can do it out of four verticals, in my opinion, because four verticals has some really good seam routes. So I, I call it from four verticals. Now, I want this route to Allison, this little angled, angled streak. I want that to be ran as my divide streak. So from there, I can take Jimmy Graham. And I can put him on an out route and I, or in route and I can smart route it. And you'll see it's going to go about the same di distance. Whoops, I made a bad motion. I mean, I meant to motion him to the right. On the back side here, I can take my back and I can put him on a check and release route. I can take Devontae Adams because they're pressed up. I can go to him on a comeback. And then I can take Lazard and put him on a little drag. And now you see I've created levels just from my hot routes. And I still have a nice little angled streak route. That's what I'm talking about when I talk about route combinations being so critical and so critically important for your success. Now, let's say maybe I wanted to do this PA deep outs play. Well, I've got this I've got this route to Allison. I've got that route to Jimmy Graham. So this is a situation where you could be – I mean, you, I could realistically very, 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 really um, – or very, very realistically see this combination being very effective. So I'm going to take my running back, put him on a wheel. Devontae Adams, they're backed off, so I've got that deep out route. Now this is levels, but it's levels with a deep post route. And if they're in single high coverage, you know, I might be able to hit that over the top. So that's how you can pair different concepts with different route combinations. And it makes it a it makes your offense so much more versatile. It makes your offense so, so much more versatile because PA deep outs, you have a stock 10 and in, right? And so now here I'm just going to set up a simple pass protection on that left side. Very simple pass, bro. And at the snap of the ball, you know, now I've got the post route, I've got the levels, and I've got the comeback. And if you go back and instant replay, you'll see I had a lot of different things open. The point being, you want to understand the concept, and then you can apply it from anything that you want to, anything that you want to call anything at all as you see there there's that in route so again levels is a deep dig paired with a paired with a drag and then what i like to do on the back side is have some type of vertical hitting over top it's going to help pair with the spacing of the concept but that's the levels concept i hope this was helpful if it was helpful or if you just want to give me a shout out my number's in the description. Do me a favor. Shoot me a text. Let me know you watched the video. Let me know what you learned. And let me know how I can help you get better at Madden 20. Thanks for watching. Shoot me a text. I'll look forward to seeing that. And if you are not comfortable with doing that, then just join me over in Discord and we can chat there. Thanks for watching.